And losers, like he said, he usually needs that first, he has to lose the first match and then go to losers and then really get his momentum going and then, you know, he'll come back. So uh, he's still a dark horse. Uh, I believe Mr. Naps, he's still, he's yeah, a loser, still a loser, right? So uh, he'll, still have yet to see him. He, he should, should be playing pretty soon. Actually, he's going to be the next match against Cyborg. So, um, oh, this should be good. This should so that's be good. going to be a really good matchup. Uh, so yeah, there's still a lot of tournament left, so it's hard to say who's going to really be coming out on top. But yeah. uh, some of the good players are being eliminated right now, but uh, should, should still see uh, what's going to take place. So our next matchup is going to be uh, Cyborg and Mr. Naps. Yeah, Cyborg's going to be on the left, and Mr. Naps is going to be on the right. And there they are. And I think this could be a really interesting matchup because I don't know if SoCal has a really like dominant uh, Bay player or a really dominant uh, Brian player as uh, Jimmy. And uh, NorCal has a couple of bigs, but it's hard to say that there's anybody like on you know Paul John's level. I well, I know uh, Bronson likes using Bechdel song yeah. a lot, but yeah. I know. He, but we know Bronson the way he plays. He doesn't use a lot of the technical stuff. He uses a no. lot of like just a good safe basic, basic, basic mind moves games. Yeah. to win. So um, and John's definitely a lot more complete than uh, Bronson. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he got hurt for that one though, and Jimmy he messes up the juggle. The combo. Oh, good. Doesn't break the stun off that one. Kind yeah, of that was it. a really weird, uh, you know, uh, kind of a string of events right there. Let's say he's going to be able to get something out of this juggle, though. And then Bay being preemptive with that uh, Flamingo sidestep, trying to avoid any tackle gimmicks. But, There's uh, another one there. Another counter hit uh, Flamingo 3 that he, that he didn't break his stun on. Nice. You know how I deal with that move? Huh. I, I, I decide that I am going to attack, but I always hold forward. Yeah, yeah. Always hold forward. Just commit to it. Well, we got it tied up here. This is the first match between these two. Oh, my goodness. That was a nice combo there by Mr. Nash. Almost got the reflow. Yeah, he kind of showed Jimmy right there that he's uh, not going to play the taunt game. So Jimmy could go for the mix-up on that one, see if it pays off for him. But uh, Jimmy's uh, he's taking wow. those low hits. John just takes those low hits, yeah. Oh, orbital heal. That's going to be really interesting to see if he goes for the mix-up on this one. Nope. Testing him. Separate. It seems like uh, John's wow. really fishing for that back turn punch. That was a strong jet upper there by Mr. Naps. Nice. Good whip punish right there. Four. Gets on top of him, breaks the uh, ground attack. Oh my goodness, that could have been it. Oh, no punish on it though. Mr. Nash with the victory. Here we go for the final round. This first set between these two competitors. Oh, good nice break on the break stun. There. Oh. Oh, no break on that. Nice break there by Mr. Nash. Good set. They're separating. Ah, punish. That was a counter hit set up there. Nice evasion there by Mr. Nash. Now we got to see if John starts getting his flow again where he starts hitting him with that low. Oh, back, back four maybe? No. Nice. 4 2 1. Nice oh, break. good break. He's got rage. Oh, and 1 4 to win. 1 4 with the finish. Mr. Nash takes the first match. That was looking really bad for Jimmy, but uh, able to pull it off. That was a. Uh, Solid comeback. I thought he was going to start taking low kicks for about another five more Yeah, rounds, he just but, uh, stood there and just took. You know, I actually thought he was going to hit him with another orbital hill. Yeah. yeah. Just keeps keep doing it. You yeah. know, let him jab you out of the air. So, should be interesting. Got a set, got a stage here with walls, so it's be interesting to see how these competitors uh, use the walls to their advantage here. And this is Jimmy's actually favorite stage. Uh, it's like one of those stages that Brian and maybe only a couple other characters can really like go from like coast to coast on. It's like anywhere that Brian gets a hit. Well, not this far, but you see how far he <laughs> takes him with this combo straight from the corner. Uh, yeah, and Jimmy is not going for the floater. He's going trying to go for the mix ups afterwards. Oh. Tom dashes into the throw and uh, got spied out. Standing forward, nice. Nice standing four four. Four four, four yes. Oh, oh my goodness, that is kind of hit for two four. Business. Nice. 
only gets that 4 or 2 1 on a counter hit, but uh, it's good damage. Oh, and John's got back into it. Oh, Tom's nice throw. He's having some really hard, uh, you know, some nice. real trouble breaking those throws. Yes. Yeah. That was a good block there by uh, Mr. Nash. Ties it up here. I think he's going to take him to the wall here, folks. Yep. And that's why Brian loves this stage. Plus, I can bet it kind of helps that it's like a war going on. And that's it. A quick round victory there by Mr. Knapp. If Knapp takes this one, he's going to take the match. I think John makes Both of them spacing out really well. Like, I think they're giving a lot of respect to each other's games right here. Oh. Nice. nice. Going crazy with the mix ups. Karate chop. Oh my goodness. That does so much damage in this game now. Orbital heal. Nice. Oh. Nice. Nice comeback there by John. That was really solid. Oh. Throws Jimmy there for a little bit. Then Jimmy gets out with the throw. Oh, spins him around. Ah. Oh, does it punish it? Two, three. Oh, Ooh, good sweep. Down back four. Wow. Nice. Oh, he breaks but, it. Yeah, you got to have that kind of spite out. Uh, wow. There's no real mix up on it, but you got to have a good presence of mind. Wow. Nice. Mr. Naps busting out with the top four, two, one, three. There he comes go, out Mr. with the Nap. victory. Let's take it down to Renee. Let's check it out. Oh, get ready for the best interview you'll ever see. He's <laughs> <laughs> like Belichick. He's like Stone Cold, right? It's infamous. Check him out with his hoodie. Here we go. So, uh, you, you did really great. You, that was close. Who do you think is your biggest competition here? Uh, biggest competition would probably be Bronson. Bronson and winners right now because uh, we play each other a lot, and I know how good he is. So he's definitely my biggest challenge. Do you know what you're going to do for your next round? Do you have a plan? No plan in particular, just play my best. Just do whatever you can. Good luck. We hope to see you again. Back to you, Rob.